What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. Um, in this video, we are going to learn how to add valves to our model. So we are going to add valves to the model uh, for two modes, cooling mode and heating mode. So we add a bypass valve to stop the flow and direct it to the cooling tower, which is the cooling mode. And we're going to add valve or when the valve is open, the water bypasses the cooling tower and is heated by the boiler. And then we are also going to add shut up valves to control the flow to and from the cooling tower. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to zoom into this part of the model. So I'm going to select this pipe here. And then I will select the selection box. Just click that one. And then select modify, right click, and then zoom to fit. There you go. So there's the pipe. And then I select the floor plan again and then click the tile views. Okay, let me just zoom out. Okay, so let me just adjust this one. So you click the section box and then it will also highlight here on your floor plan. So you can use that to adjust your view range here. Okay, so there's your uh, cooling tower by the way. So let's adjust that. Let's adjust this one. And there you have it, okay? Now, let us add some valve here. So this pipe here is a uh, three inches uh, pipe here. So we are going to place a bypass valve to control the flow to the cooling tower, okay? Right, so this pipe here is what? So this pipe is the flow uh, from the cooling tower is 125. So this one is what? So this is also 125. Okay, so anyway, so let us learn how to add a valve here, which is very simple. Just go to the systems, go to the plumbing and piping, and then select there the pipe accessory. So it places a pipe accessory that includes connectors, valves, and inline water heaters. So I'm going to select that, or you can type PA, and then let's look for the bypass valve here, which is the ball valve two to six inches bypass. So we are going to use three inches. Okay. By the way, the, the bypass valve is closed by default. Okay. So I'm going to hover my pointer to this pipe here and then just click to place it. There you go. And then just select modify. So that's our valve there. So let us rotate our uh, bypass valve. So I'm going to select this valve here and then I'll just click this icon here to rotate it just like that. Then just click on the blank space to deselect the, uh, the valve here. And then let us place also a shot of valve, okay? Right, okay. So this is where we are going to place our uh, valves. So let's learn how to place again the valve. So let's click that. And then from the ball valve, so this time let us place a normal ball valve, not a bypass. So we will be using a 4 inches here. 4 inches ball valve. So let's click that. Oops, just cancel this. And then let's place one here. That's it. And then let's place another one here. Okay, and then just select modify. So you can use a line tool to align your bulb here. So let's click that point and then this side here just to align it. Okay. Now uh, let us rotate it. So I'm going to select this bulb. So let's rotate that. Click again just like that. Let's click that. Okay. Let's rotate it. Let's rotate it. Okay. Right? So if I'm going to select this one, this pipe here, the flow there is uh, zero. And then this one, this pipe that I have here, the flow here is also zero. Now on the top horizontal pipe, the flow from the cooling tower, 
this is uh, 125 uh, GPM and it's the same for the bottom horizontal pipe which is the flow from the uh, cooling tower so this is also 125 GPM so currently the system is designed to run in cooling load or cooling mode so you add valves to the cooling tower to enable the system to alternately run in heating mode so in heating mode you want to shut off the flow of water into the cooling tower so you bypass the cooling tower with hot water coming from the boiler so you can modify the valves to bypass the cooling tower so how to do that so i'm going to select here the oops I'm going to select the bypass valve, which is this one. So I click this one, and then I'm going to change this. Okay, so instead of a bypass valve, so I'm going to change that to a normal uh, bypass valve valve here. So I'm going to select uh, 3 inches. Okay, so I changed that to 3 inches uh, ball valve. So these valves allows the water to flow through it. Okay, and then I'm going to select the two regular bulbs click and hold control and then you click that one All right and then we're going to change that to a bypass bulb so let's click this so we will be using uh, three inches that's it and then I'll just select here modify so let's check all right so you will now notice here that the flow becomes here uh, zero same with this uh, return pipe to the cooling tower it becomes zero okay for this one it's also zero so it's zero here as well okay so because we modify our valves there all right so that's it for this uh, quick exercise about the adding valves for your cooling tower, for cooling mode and uh, heating mode. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.